Yep, yeah, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. See, this is my best look. You see it right here? I see it. Does the nose of the ball touch the ground? I don't, I don't see it. No, I don't, don't see it definitive. No. No, we're going to let it, we're going to confirm the, the interception or at least clear it. We're going to clear it. Yeah, we're good. We're okay. good. With, we're good with the interception. We're clearing the interception. So today we're in the XFL Command Center. This is the nerve center of the XFL on game day. And the technology, state of the art. It's an amazing facility. We're just excited for everyone to look in and see what happens in the Command Center during games. And I think fans are gonna see that process play out on the broadcast. They're gonna be really interested in that. You're gonna see real professional football. You're gonna see access, you're going to get excitement, you're going to get a product that you don't see in other areas of football. Directing traffic to Latimer, picked off. No, they're saying catch. Whoa. They're saying touchdown. Command center, command center, stop game. We're going to take a further look at this. My role with the XFL is everything officiating, replay, rules, he went down and then he kind of lifted his feet up. Yeah. That, that's what that's what he saw right here. On game day, managing the officiating process in our XFL command center, operating replay, making decisions. We want our officials to make a call on the field. That's where it all starts. You've got to be decisive. So here's the one challenge situation. Vegas has called a charge timeout to challenge the ruling on the field. Mike, I'm with you. We're looking Reason. at it. Us in the command center, we'll start to review the, the aspects of the play that we can look at. And then if the call on the field is correct and we don't have any issues, we'll move on. But if we have an issue and something that we need to correct, that's when replay will get involved. Looks like he moves with the ball. We're going to let the ruling on the field stand. So we're going to stand here? All right. Correct. No foul. There's always pressure whenever you're making a decision because you know that your decision is going to have an impact on the outcome of the game. There is no foul for offside. It's first down. Our XFL kickoff is unique. Your coverage team is 35 yards in front of you. How does that change your process? Man, I got to stick to the process, kick the ball through, trust the guys on there, and put the ball where it needs to go, baby. All of our players, other than a kicker and a returner, are five yards apart. The return team on their own 30, the kicking team on the return team's 35. And so you don't have those high speed collisions that can happen on the more traditional kickoff. We wanted to keep the return in the game. Over 90% of our kicks were returned. Can't start until the ball is touched in the field of play or after three seconds if it hits the ground. We're excited about our kickoff. He feels it. There they go. He's off. Trying to find a seam. Spin move. Mashing buttons. The three-point try, right? In the NFL and college, you've got a one-point try and a two-point try. We added a three-point try from the 10-yard line. You can go for one from the two-yard line, you can go for two from the five, or you could go for three from the 10. That helps teams come back. Now a nine-point game is not a two-score game. McCarron, end zone, squeezes it in there. Three-point conversion, good. Fourth and 15. Fourth and 15. Okay, so let me walk you through what's going on. They are going to elect to go for it on 4th and 15 instead of an onside kick. If they get the 4th and 15 conversion, the drive continues from that spot. What is it? McCarron buys more time, keeps his eyes downfield, has pro. They converted on 4th and 15. This is fun. We've got a really good relationship with the NFL. A lot of things that we're talking about that can be mutually beneficial. Maybe it's rules changes that the NFL is looking at that they want the XFL to implement so they can get live reps and see it in action. We have NFL officiating leadership coming to games, scouting our officials. This is a league of opportunity. That's what it's all about. That's what the opportunity is about. That's what the XFL is about. He's got him. We got a first down. 